with the total amount of 15 lanterns inside the Mimic. I will rank them in terms of creepiness, and difficulty. This list is based on my opinion, I don't expect everybody to have the same opinion so let me know what's the best lanterns for you, this list goes from easiest to hardest as well. The basic lantern is at the bottom of this list since everybody who plays the Mimic has a 100% obtainability rate of having this lantern, just play any chapter and you'll get it. Don't get me wrong, this lantern might be annoying for a few players since you have to get through in. <laughs> which you need to collect the three rats, run away from the angered Mio, hide away from Nagisa under rocks and grass, run away from Nagisa in a cave, find five different paintings while being chased by Shosai. Light up five correct candles from Tsukiya. Light up a large amount of candles while being chased by the three-eyed monster. <laughs> Tenime or many of you know it as Kyogi. And the monster covered in eyeballs called Haikum. Other than that you can die as many times as you want to get this lantern. This lantern is based of the monster Ronnie the Clown. This lantern isn't really hard to get since you have to get 7 jack in the boxes which is easy if somebody continues to stall for Ronnie the Clown. You have to get through the ring master which is hard since he teleports, but if there was less teleporting this would be a piece of cake since you need to find 6 cards scattered around the circus, and his AI path is very predictable. The jackhole lanterns aren't that hard to get at all, you can have up to 10 players inside the mode, for the first part you could only have 3 people finding 3 separate pumpkins. For the second part you can have three people on each floor lighting the candles till the round ends, and for the last part you can just run around lighting pumpkins, and you have 60 lives if there still is 10 players remaining. This is out of the blue but since I reached 2000 subscribers, for my next video I will do a Q&A where you guys can ask a couple of questions regarding me, I might do something special as well. Anyways back to the video. Many of you might disagree with me but for me, with the amount of 7 people in nightmare mode is more than enough. Krampus's AI path is very easy to spot, the first task is to fix Santa's sleigh, the fire extinguisher, controls aim spots, collecting 30 toys isn't a problem since they are usually close to each other. And for collecting the key of Krampus you can just hide in the big hole and take it off him. When Nightmare Mode came out, this was slightly hard, but easy after you know what to do, for the first part just open all 7 jack in the boxes without being caught, for the second part you can just stall the monster while the other team cracks the card code, and you can tell where the monster is to alert your teammates. I know Shinigami is extremely fast. But there are only three things you have to do to get this Hinigami Lantern.
The first one is to start up Chapter 1 Nightmare Mode with a couple of players, head to his throne room. Collect 35 red glowing souls and you're done. I know, when this lantern came out it was really difficult to obtain which some of you may disagree with me, but my point is that when Shiny Achi, came out, there was a couple of bugs, including the bug where you don't need to collect 13 souls to obtain her soul which was surprising, you just collect her soul. I don't have a reason. You just had to escape your parents' house. Collect 13 butterflies. Burn 6 cursed items to save your grandfather. And kill Sama which may be hard since people would die at either the Sama part. Or burning 6 cursed items. The Spirit Lantern was pretty easy to obtain. You just had to escape the library. Avoid non-armored Kusunoki. Collect the keys from the two Shaku mazes, but the only problem with the mazes is that it's too small so you might run into Shaku. and finally find the butterfly and escape from Kentaro. Many people found getting the corrupted lantern very easily, but for me, not really. I played it before the revamp so Mihari's part was far more difficult. But anyways, to obtain this lantern you had to escape from Kaido. Capture and burn Mihari's soul. and escape Omarcade which may be annoying since the monster is very fast. I don't have a reason for the witch's trials being difficult. You just had to collect 4 scrolls which was easy since the monsters were slow, you had to place two katanas to escape the second part and you had to burn two of Futea Mode's soul. I don't know why but I would continuously die at either the forest part. Or the final part. I don't know why I find getting the Saigamu Lantern difficult, you just had to destroy three of Sama's hearts and destroy her for good. I just sucked at fighting it, I used too much stamina or the monster would web me. I'm not trying to flex but I completed this first try, if I try and do it again I have no luck. You have to make Mio consume three rats. Hide under Nagisa. Run away from Nagisa in a cave. Find five paintings while trying to survive from Shosai. Light up the correct paintings in Tsukiya's part. 
Retrieve a red glowing orb and light up the candles while trying to survive the three-eyed monster. Hayakum and Kyogi Unfortunately the VIP lantern couldn't make it on the list, anyone can get it, but no everyone has the Robux to spend it, now I will rank every lantern from least scariest to most terrifying. There is nothing special about this lantern it just has a wooden framing shining a bright light ahead of the player. I can't find this terrifying, it just has a white framing for it with a butterfly inside. I like how the black and bright green matches together but it feels gothic and not terrifying. There is nothing special with this lantern it is just a magician's hat with a white glowing bunny inside, although I do find it quite cool. There is nothing special with this lantern it is just like the spirit lantern but with masks covered around each side of the lantern. I can't find it creepy, but I like how Kyogi's arm reach out as if he wants to grab the player. I can't find it terrifying since it doesn't resemble anything, but I like how the mouth moves around along with Mio's hair, just like in the cutscene as well. I have actually never used this before but judging from the design, which has four skulls emitting a bright light, this isn't frightening. I like how the lantern emits a bright yellow light on the eyes and mouth and how it represents the Pumpkin Master Kaboja. I can't lie it is pretty freaky and cool but, it doesn't match up with the modern Kusunoki, the modern Kusunoki had way more detail on it. The only thing I find creepy about the Saigamo Lantern is how closely it matches up with the monster it was based on, Saigami itself but with an extra detail, her fangs. I don't actually have a good reason other than how similar she looks to her actual monster she was based on, and I like how she covers her face with her two hands, this is most likely since she was bullied during her childhood, just covering her eyes to cover up the sadness. I don't have a good reason I just love how he looks like Tsunigami, the monster he was based on, and the fact that his red eyes could tell us that he is very hostile towards human who enter his throne. Even though it's not terrifying for most people I'm the only one who finds it terrifying. I like how the skull represents Krampus, and has glowing bright Christmas lights around his head. For this lantern I found it pretty freaky for a clown design inside a Roblox game, and I like how this is the only lantern that can be held high, if you compare it to the other lanterns, almost all of them are just a bit above the ground. But what is the best lantern, for this I only have a few of them in mind, the Lampus Lantern, the Ringmaster's Lantern and Ronnie the Clown, these three are possibly the best since they are one of the brightest out of all the other lanterns. And right now the Lampus Lantern and the Ronnie the Clown's Lantern is still available right now, so get it while you can. I'll see you in the Q&A next video, bye.